So let's have a look upstairs and see what uh, we've done up there. Um, we've uh, re-skimmed some of these walls and uh, we're all carpeted here. Um, now one of the jobs we had to do is when we bought this property, it had uh, what's called a disabled shower uh, room in here. And it had a, a level floor, like a sort of wet room really. And that's not ideal for uh, if we're going to sell on to a, to a new family. So basically we took that old shower arrangement out and put a nice new chrome shower in. Now there was a number of um, fittings on the wall, grab rails, there's a seat down here. Now because generally, and we don't want to do works unnecessarily, but because these um, tiles are pretty basic, normal white tiles uh, with a bit of feature, even though a part of a level one refurbishment, we would look to replace the whole bathroom. There was no need for us to do that here. We just needed to replace the damaged or tiles where there was literally fixings in place. So my, uh, one of my guys, Luke, who's very skillful, he cut out the tiles that had all the fixings in. There was a couple down here where the seat was. There was a couple here where there were some grab rails. We've literally cut the tiles out and put, the, put replacement white tiles in their place and then grouted the tiles back in. In fact, if you're very keen, you can see that that one there has been done because there's some new white grouting here. Because there was a, an old medical box on the wall here. So just need to clean this down now. It's a last little job, give this all a wash down. That was the original electric shower that was on the wall. That was original. Um, so all we've literally done is put this new enclosure in. Uh, the WC was the same and the the basin here was the same um, again upstairs we had a lot of poor quality walls um, here is the this is a chimney breast here which extended from downstairs there was some dampness in there which we treated we got the chimney sorted out on top and then again we've skimmed these walls and patched where necessary so this is bedroom two uh, again it's all finished and over here is bedroom three, which is a, you know, what we call a box room. Again, some patching went on in this room, uh, re-skimmed the areas and then painted. So it's become a, a lovely, nice, clean room. I'm going to take you into the master bedroom now. My, my guy, Jonathan, is working in there changing the window. Um, so we might just say a quick hello to him. And uh, he knows we're here anyway. So I'll just take you inside this room and show you the difference and what we're doing. So what we found was, is again, we had um, uh, misted up window units and the top opening windows, they were um, rusted solid and we couldn't open them at all. So Jonathan here is our maintenance guy and window fitter. And what we've decided to do and what we need to do is change the locking mechanisms. And of course, while we're here, uh, he's noticed that the hinges need doing. So we're going to change the hinges as well. So um, this is the master bedroom. There was some original wall units, a sort of fitted bathroom, uh, <laughs> bathroom, a fitted bedroom suite in here. That's all gone. And we've just opened the room right up, fully decorated and carpeted again. So um, there you are. Um, really pleased the way this is, has worked out. We're looking, as I mentioned, to put this property on the market for $84,995. Um, and then uh, giving the client, Peter, a good um, return on his investment. Uh, this is very typical of the type of properties that we find if we're going to do a level one refurbishment. So under the property portfolio growth system, what we teach people to do is to use what I call the smart property locator. That is, is to search for properties that are very typical like this. And what I refer to as, as a model um, then because it's a bit of a rinse and repeat because once we've done this type of property where we redecorate we change the kitchen we change the bathroom we can uh, sort of put together a, a regular costing and we know how much these uh, works are going to cost I'll come on to that in a second so once we've got the model we're looking to add value by refurbishing now this in conjunction with the rapid assessment procedure what um, Peter did and what I teach people to do is to review the sale prices in this locality to see what the potential resale value of this property is. 
Once we've established that, we need to assign a level of work. Now, in this case, it's a level one where we change the kitchen, the bathroom, we change the tiling, we change the carpets, we redecorate, sometimes we change the internal doors and we tidy the garden up outside. So we assign a level which gives us a lump sum money that we can throw in at this for the purposes of our ex exercise. And then we do a profit review. And the profit review is effectively what the potential sale value is. Take away from that the purchase, of the purchase price of the property. Take away from that the level one costs. And then take away from that the profit that the person wants to make from the property. And if indeed uh, all those figures add up to less than the potential sale value, then, then it all stacks up. It's as simple as that. And that's exactly what Peter did. And uh, here he is now looking to get a quick sale on this property and we'll get it all on the market. And uh, we can move on to the next project. So if you'd like to know anything more, by all means contact me, mikewoodspropertyexpert.com and um, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. So thanks very much and see you around.